chose the London immersion because one, I'd never been to London before. Uh, two, I thought the global markets kind of tied in well with you know what the topic was in the course and where the world was going, very timely, and it was a great chance to see my classmates. One of the reasons why I chose coming to Europe was because of the financial problem that is going on globally right at the moment. For me, um, even though I'm in the medical field, it's very, very interesting to learn what's going on around me and what's going on outside of our country and outside of our little bubble because it's definitely affecting what we're doing. It's affecting my 401k, it's affecting everyone else's um, financials. I work in finance, so the Euro, Greece, Spain topic was very high on my list. And I wanted to see what a European point of view was. I think everything that I was looking for has been answered. Uh, one of the reasons why I came here was to get a better understanding of the uh, European debt crisis and um, a lot of the professors, everything that we've gone through thus far has answered my questions. There's often a, a poor correlation drawn between the European Union and a group of states like the USA. So it's kind of interesting to see how they do it and how that's different from the way we do it and the problems that are unique or germane to their situation. The caliber of people uh, to, at today's session is outstanding. Jonathan Tepper, who's in line for the Wolfson Prize, uh, these are people that I would expect maybe to meet in the line of work. It, it's even more fascinating to meet them in the educational setting. Also, Bob DeLorge from Raytheon come and speak about it and talk about their strategies and talk about how they're managing against the risk firsthand is invaluable. key takeaways I'm going to take back into my workplace is the different views of the Euro and it, you know, kind of open up other people's eyes that it, it's not as you know, black and white as we expect it to be and you know, it, there's a different view, especially in Europe, there's a whole totally different view than what we're experiencing in the United States. I work on the technology side in my company, but I work on financial software, so I found that a lot of the discussions that we've had, I've heard a lot of the terminology that I've seen in the software that I've worked on but not necessarily known a lot of the in-depth background information for. I work with inventories from overseas and you know import them into the United States and I think I have such a small vision of you know the euro crisis that it can expand to so much more. By the end of this weekend I'm seeing how these parts also integrate together and, to, um, and how one thing that happens on, in one country really affects how something else happens in another country. The advice that I would have for anybody choosing an immersion, um, go somewhere not only just for the, uh, for the location, but choose uh, the content that you're actually interested in. And that way I think when you're going through the readings and when you're engaging with the professors, uh, I think you get, you get more out of it that way. Oh, you have to go to the immersions. It's, it, it really you know, adds another layer to the class and I think kind of separates you from like, you know, just a, a purely online program that you're getting to meet your classmates and your professors and taking that next step. What's been the greatest thing is the relationships that have come out of it and kind of the network that you've been able to build with each immersion, it just gets better and better. 